All right, so we're gonna start fixing this rocker. I already did the other side and forgot to film it. So it has a body line there, you can't really tell. Right, I didn't put this black on there. Somebody's trying to cover up rust, so. We're gonna strip this down. I'm gonna weld that seam up. I did it on the other side also. And fix whatever dents and rust is in there. So this is what it's looking like before. Okay, so I got it stripped down to bare metal. It's actually in excellent shape. But now that that black is gone, you can see this body line. And the reason I'm getting rid of it is when I made the bottoms of the fenders, because uh, they were rusted out, I didn't put that body line back in it. So I'm gonna make this smooth with Bondo there. And I'm gonna weld this seam up like I did to the other side and smooth that out. You really probably wouldn't want to do that on a car that you're gonna drive every day or that doesn't have, you know, a roll cage or subframe connectors. Usually this will crack back out if you do that. So I'm just doing it because uh, this car has uh, got a roll cage and subframe connectors and I don't really drive it much on the road. But uh, you can see all the layers of paint. There was like a chip guard and like some factory paint. It's been painted to yellow and been painted again. So um, I'm using a wheel like this a die grinder to, to clean it off there uh, it won't hurt the metal but it gets the stuff off quick so that's what I'm using that's what I would recommend to use especially on pitted rust uh, this will get down the pits and not uh, mess uh, I think it's made by Norton it will not mess up the metal so it, it'll give you smooth metal when you're done but uh, okay that's this step all right so now i've got that mig welded up and it was kind of rusty in there so it's didn't weld the best but you want to kind of like stitch here stitch there you know little bits at a time to keep from overheating it and so now i'm going to grind it down with like a little grinding disc smooth and then we'll start our uh there's a little dent here i got to pull out and we'll start our body work so here it is after i ground it down with this uh, disc right here, it's a it's called a roll lock disc, 36 grit. That's a two inch one. Normally I run like a three inch one. So ground down. You can tell this was a cheaply made car. Look how the body line doesn't line up. It, they welded this thing in about an eighth of an inch too low. This panel is. So I got that smoothed out, and now I'm gonna pull the dents out of uh, the bottom of this rocker. There's a dent from uh, here to here in the bottom so we're gonna get the stud gun out and pull those out all right so we got our uh, unispotter out and welded some pins on it that's what I use these are the pins so uh, the big thing with this is a lot of people want to hold it on there too long you just gotta push it up there just bump it that's all it really needs don't hold it it's just gonna get too hot it's not gonna help it stick any better and then uh, when you're pulling with something like this this little guy rolls up you hook it on there and you don't need to pull on it like crazy either and if you keep if you keep pressure on this it won't fall off <laughs> like that so you kind of want to keep pressure pulled on it by the handle uh, keep some pressure with your left hand while you tap it with your the slide hammer with your right hand if you don't put pressure on it it'll fall off like that so and it doesn't take a lot you don't want to jerk on it like crazy you, it'll just take a little pressure so I'll pull on these and we'll see how that looks I just thought of another thing that a lot of people get wrong you don't cut these off like this a lot of people do you don't do that you get all the way up on the surface, squeeze it just a little bit, and twist it, and it pops off there clean. A lot of people cut them right here and then grind them down. Don't do that. This is how you do it. They pop right off. So, after we got those studs off there, I took that roll lock grinder again and ground down the high spots where I pulled it. So it's pretty flat now, so I'm gonna get some Bondo. Bondo this bottom, this right here we welded up, and Bondo that line up. So you 
mix the blue is the hardener gray is the bondo you mix it together and you're really not supposed to stir it you're supposed to like keep flipping it and doing it like this you're not it'll get air in it if you stir it so that's how you mix it up it's probably a little more hardener than I really need uh, I accidentally put a little too much in it so you want it all one color and then once you get it all one color you can start spreading it on there like that and that's how you do it so I got it all spread on there now and now you just gotta wait for it to harden up and we'll start sanding it I'll probably sand it with 80 grit first then um, finish it out with 180 before I prime it so I sand that down with 80 grit sandpaper and it has a little roughness to it so then I had some pinholes so I filled them in with putty which mixes up just like Bondo and goes on just like Bondo but it's made to fill in minor imperfections and now I will sand this down with 180 once it dries and then this will be ready to primer so I got that all sanded with 180 sand the putty down it's ready to prime so I still had some time so I'm gonna dig this out this is old Bondo that's, that's what you don't do to fix rust you don't fill it up with Bondo I'm gonna cut this out make a new patch pan a lot of metal so there you go we just got that cut out that's what was left of it that whole sections rotted off of it cut off there with a cut off wheel what's behind this stuff it's got some rust on the inner structure but I'll probably just treat that with some acid so anyway now it's time to make a patch panel alright so I just got done treating this with acid it's this Geico Ospo whatever that's what I'm using dip it with a acid brush down in there and wipe it all over it and then it's supposed to sit I think 24 hours or something I'm gonna read it here in a minute and that's supposed to stop or slow down the rust so I cut this out of some old door here at work I laid it on the frame rack and beat it with a hammer and made that flange so now I'm gonna mark where this body line is this body line right here and make my next curve into it now I've got to make the other bend in it so I took the uh, the piece of metal put a piece of angle iron on the edge of this frame rack and clamped it down with some vice grips and made like a homemade uh, metal break so you can do that if you don't have a metal break now we got this patch panel made and we will slide it in there and weld it I got that MIG welded in now you, like I said before you just stitch here stitch there try to keep it from getting hot and now I'm trying to fill in these uh, gaps back here they're letting smoke in the car you can see they kind of left a gap around the wheel tub so I'm gonna start filling this stuff in here and patching all that up next 